pretty much settled for the last uh, six weeks or so. Uh, Cassetti, who scored the only goal in the corresponding fixture earlier in the season, Bordiso, Juan and John Arnavise with uh, Julio Sergio in goal on the bench. Coming off there, similar to Zarate, will be Jeremy Menez later on in the game, more than likely. And uh, if uh, things aren't going well or if it just needs a, a fresh pair of legs but you can see behind there the crowd that it's a, an amazing scene that's the Lazio fans for you big big game for them Lazio and uh, they are the designated home side as I said and have a good record actually in this fixture as the home side 3-0, 3-2 and a 4-2 so if we get plenty of goals tonight I think we'll all be very happy beautiful setting of course tonight it's uh, almost 6.30 local time the sun just beginning to set. Will it be setting on Roma's title? Chances are will they march on? It's the red against the blue tonight. And it's uh, more than just City pride. It is so much more than that for both teams. Our referee tonight, Paolo uh, Tagliavento, one of our experienced referees here in Italy. But interestingly enough, it's his first derby. It's a big occasion for him as well. Look at that scene. Behind you there, you've got the Monte Mario. Use of anyone who knows it. Uh, Olympic Stadium and the Eternal City and oh, what a beautiful setting it is nestled in there between the Monte Mario and uh, the Tevere River but we're not here for sightseeing we're here for football and Eddie Ray he's seen it all An experienced man of course along with Claudio Ranieri but uh, for both of them their first Roman Derby so it's first for everyone and for uh, any of our viewers your first Roman Derby brace yourselves You've seen the film on oh my command, Unleash Hell, and that's what it will be tonight. There is Claudio Lotito, who uh, will, uh, be no doubt, be hoping for a victory. The owner, and there will be a minute's silence for him. Um, uh, 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 comedian and also football pundit, uh, Romondi, very famous figure here in Italy, just passed away over the weekend. and a uh, round of applause, great to see that and I uh, just saw also in the crowd there, Marcello Lippi Italy uh, coach, he'll be looking at uh, two players in particular one feels Luca Toni and Francesco Totti of course, still no word on uh, whether Francesco Totti will come out of retirement and uh, make himself available for the World Cup but it's club football that we're concerned with and a uh, real wonderful scene and the final moments, the players to gather themselves Tell Juventus as well, it will be Roma to get us underway and uh, playing from right to left in the old red strip. Roma start the game, Pizarro forward looking for Luca Toni loses out. The first aerial clash. Cassetti back into Bordiso, who's uh, formed a partnership alongside Juan now in the centre defence to keep him for the out of the team. Zingardo with a header down. A back three of uh, Lazio, they'll have to be live to it. The forward movements of Totti and uh, Vucinic, and uh, of course the aerial power of uh, Luca Tomi. Steiner is down the flank, and uh, Daniele De Rossi sliding in there. Final touch coming off the uh, Swiss player. Some two uh, local born players in their team, Totti and uh, De Rossi. And I feel this match more than most, well, probably more than anybody else. And uh, there is De Rossi who uh, is growing a beard uh, and it's uh, getting uh, longer as uh, Roma's uh, unbeaten run continues. He's not going to shave it until uh, the, uh, the championship is either won or gone at the moment. Uh, Roma two points behind Inter after Inter's victory over uh, Juventus on Friday evening. 
And uh, look at Tony battling away there with Estendardo. Shake the hand. That'll be a good battle, of course. And uh, we will look to play that ball long put and isolate Stendardo. A little flick on from Tony. Which Steiner likes to get forward. Rocky has touched back inside to uh, Christian Brocky. One with a sliding challenge on Flockery. Odiso. Chip into uh, midfield. Steiner again able to control the ball. And just, uh, just going over on his ankle there. And it continues. Totti and a shot from Totti early on in the uh, second uh, opportunity really. Just hit that on the volley, always rising, no problems whatsoever for uh, Muslera. Keep dropping deep. Tatum Miles in these early moments. The three minute mark, but uh, both sides sitting back and uh, really just filling up the space right across the pitch there. And making the cagey start, but uh, nothing could change. An early goal, change everything. And there's a good forward run by Kolarov. It's the byline into the back post. It's Steiner just couldn't rise, and uh, De Rossi back covering with time. Back inside, drive back there by Lichsteiner. Pizarro. Mark, step over, got away from Rocky, and Rocky apologises. It's all very friendly at the moment. Derby challenges just yet. Chinich, his first run, is into trouble. And the players are aware that they have to produce a sporting spectacle as well. It is a uh, Rome Derby's are tense affairs off the pitch. Vucinic. Crowded again, no real movement. Good chip over the top for Luca Tony. Chasing through there, and diving header by Stendardo. And uh, immediately Luca Tony apologises, and you can see why. Kick to the, the forehead there. And Stendardo, Vucinic, dinking the ball over the top. And see that was a crack there, right on the bridge of the nose there for uh, Stendardo. He's really feeling that. And uh, yeah, it looks very nasty. I mean, those sort of situations, you need to get the patient up and the, the head forward, allow the blood to uh, come out front of the nose and lying back there that was a crack there from Luca Tony and uh, it's going to be uh, running repairs on the Stendardo by Kite and uh, Biava on the bench they would come on one of uh, those two players to play in the centre defensive Stendardo can't continue defensive looking Claudio Ranieri For everyone, I think, and uh, certainly Mr. Rotito there would be a word about uh, a central defender. And yeah, uh, they're indicating and looked as well. I mean, we, we saw him there from that replay of the blood. There was a lot of he knows and uh, Daikiti is uh, on his feet, but uh, I think uh, he's going to come on. I think it's going to be uh, Biava, Giuseppe Biava, who's on loan from Genoa. And uh, how will that change things early on? And uh, Stendardo waves to the crowd. He's a he's warrior player, but that is a nasty, nasty uh, nose injury. No doubt uh, broken. A nice pack on as well. The, the chanting is waving goodbye anyway. Farewell, Stendardo, and the Gladiators is taken out of the arena. And another one places it. Giuseppe Biava he played in the big games down through seasons as well. The Genoa Derby down in Sicily as well with Palermo. He knows what it takes for the big occasion. And he'll come right. Let's see if he comes into the centre of defence because usually he plays on the right hand side of a three man defence. 
But, uh, it's certainly lost it. Apple yeah. now with uh, Luca Toni. We, uh, can see if uh, Roma press through the middle, try to knock the ball up for Toni to really put to uh, Diava and uh, Rado and Diaz under pressure. So Diaz, the header, can then move into the centre of that uh, back three. Maybe they just drop uh, Collar off back as well and Steiner just to uh, reinforce that back line early on so that uh, Diava can get into the game, just settle in and uh, get the pace of the game. Touch there. So we open the match up a little bit. It's a great ball from De Rossi. Lucinich unable to get it under control. Biava has gone to the right hand side of that uh, back three. Lucinic there, just a little bit petulant. He needs to be careful. And uh, event up, he's just warned him. Lucinic felt he'd won the ball. Challenge was from behind. So the referee felt uh, unfairly. to put some pressure on that Roma defence but uh, Desmond wanted to see it quickly and uh, put the ball ahead of colour off Pizarro one Lisa Hodder in the air he was saying that he hoped that uh, Lisa would uh, see out the rest of his career Roma Improved players this season. The second season in Serie A for the from Liverpool. So he's come out here amongst the fans, five goals. And they'll always be remembered for that wonderful header in the dying seconds against Juventus. And uh, all started by uh, the chase of Inter. And, uh, one week, they were at the top spot back in the Second place now. Victory mm -hmm. tonight, put them back in front again, heading into the last uh, four games of the season. We do have the uh, paper anyway, easier running. So, to get here, Don Totti, flick inside, Perotta, Lucinic, not challenged by Ledesma, made it very well. Fortunate delivery forward for Flockery, a little bit too short as they cut out by Cassette. Cut off. Again to Ledesma again. Sweeps the ball out to the right hand side. Steiner. The ball pinned in by Lichsteiner just over the head of uh, Tommaso Rocky. Excellent ball. Got in front of one, just going to make a clean connection. Goes from Flockery as well. Right back to Ledesma. It's more hard to pull it off. Let's strive forward. Takes on Cassetti. And, uh, Cassetti able to catch him. But, uh, Again, excellent run. Uh, Alexander Polarov, Serbian player. And reports that he's in the sights of Inter for next season. First corner of the evening goes to Lazio. Ledesma short to Rocky. Ledesma curls the ball into the near post, and uh, Sergio had the scamper across there. Covered. Desmond back in the, the team. 
Lions during the first part of the season. A contract dispute. He's now walking back into the side and a key figure really on the Lancers four. Sits in that midfielder in front of the defence, keeps the ball moving. Rise again with time. Can look up wide. Steiner. Three Lazio players, Tony battling away. Gucinic trying to work the ball through for Porota. Gucinic makes the challenge, a big goal kick to Lazio, but uh, Porota likes to get forward, get ahead of the, uh, the attacking players, breaking from midfield. and the Rocky's through here, Rocky rolls the ball into the back of the net and a wonderful finish by Tommaso Rocky and put Lazio ahead inside the first 15 minutes it's what we wanted, the early goal and it's a really open this derby game up picked up beautifully and uh, got away from his marker, Burdiso question marks over the centre of the defence there and uh, Tommaso Rocky Splitting uh, Bordiso and uh, Cassetti. Both floated over the head of uh, Bordiso. And uh, calmly finished by uh, Tommaso Rocchi. Side footing the ball past the despairing uh, Giulio Sergio. So, first real opportunity for either side. And Lazio take the lead. And can Roma react to this? Said it was a cagey start. The other side really forcing the issue, and then suddenly Ledesma, who we were talking about, is a key figure. There's the ball over the top, and uh, Tommaso, Rock, Tommaso Rocky, the captain, does the rest. Chinich closed down quickly by Biava. Biava wins the ball cleanly. Rocky forward this time. Uh, overhead on this occasion straight through to uh, Julio Sergio and to Pizarro Steiner he just helps the ball on Pizarro's there quickly back to Juan risks there from Juan back to his goalkeeper as I was saying the derby form goes out the window although we've seen Lazio have been in good form and uh, the difference in the league positions I mean nothing on Derby evenings. Zara challenged from behind by Glockery. Get back into this game as soon as possible. We'll start playing in the, uh, the Lazio half. Designated home side uh, pinned back. That could be uh, in danger of the break, and Rocky skips away from Burdiso. Wonderful play, Burdiso gets back. Does very well. Except for the error. And this clearance comes off uh, Rocky. Bright start from Tommaso Rocky. He's had an up and down season so far. Just his fifth goal of the campaign, but will there be an important, more important one? And the 
did that so well. He came back two strides, made sure it. Strides made sure it. He was uh, in behind the uh, Roma defence, but uh, not in an offside position. But the way of that chip pass from uh, Desma was uh, inch perfect. And uh, Flockery on the chase this time. This time he's offside. Just on that occasion, one stepping out. And so coming forward again through a uh, off. Stefano Mari. And the Desma. And Steiner and Barocchi on the outside. And Steiner curls the ball in. One with a header high. And uh, drops into the hands of uh, Julio Sergio. Yeah, getting up very well there against uh, Lucinic. And, uh, indications there from uh, Roger Ranieri. He just wants uh, Pizarro to sit more in the middle and uh, start working the ball around. You see the little man getting on the ball. Just battling away, but uh, easily cleared by. Kolorov, followed by Risa on uh, Brocki. Up to the head there for a uh, Milan player. Steiner again. Two worker, Lich Steiner down the flank. Run all day. By Kucinic. And the Desmond with his free kick. Diaz up. Yava as well. Short uh, free kick. Rocky chips the ball in. Headed away by. De Rossi, Totti, to Pizarro, Pizarro long ball forward, and then uh, in the no man's land, Lichsteiner, well ahead of Vucinic, there's Lera. This one is half the line, Totti, challenged from behind by Piava, free kick to Roma. Oh, yet to settle, a little passing game going. And then Bordiso and one forward. It's Pizarro's over it. And Rossi as well, he's a danger in the area. Pizarro, deep, deep ball, and uh, too much on it there. And straight through to Muslera. Immediately bowls the ball out to Kolorov. And if he goes again. This time uh, Porotto is back covering. Ledesma. On the line, forces Bodiso back. The pressure from uh, Flockery. And uh, that's her working hard all over the pitch. Keeping uh, uh, Stefano Mari for his for player forward there. And uh, keeping uh, Roma pinned back. Challenging Luca Tony, referee says play on. No advantage forthcoming for Roma. Vucinic ran onto the ball. And Juventus uh, bringing play back uh, by Diaz and Luca Tony. Uh, 
this uh, range. And seems to be sending the ball up as if he wants to have a go, a go from a distance out, some 30 metres or so out. And then back the 10 yards. It's a long way out. But, uh, this is scored from this distance before. And looking maybe for the deflection through. Another player just got to be aware of the offside ahead of them. Totty's right on the uh, last man there. And uh, Tony making the run. Here comes Reset. But, uh, that ball was rolled too, too slowly to him and it allowed Brocky to come out and make the challenge. And uh, Biava with the uh, header away. What a wasted effort there for Roma. So now we'll uh, go for the long throw. What uh, Lazio want, and just uh, allow them to regroup, keep that ball moving wide, which they've done very well so far. Mario, to where by Cassetti, uh, Pizarro. There's the ball through to Luca Toni, Diaz steps in, wins it well. It's Steiner, goes past. Uh, Two challenges easily past Risa. Can he deliver? Can indeed. Flockery can get the shot away. Pizarro steps in. Walking through. Rocky goes down inside the area under a challenge from Bordiso. And referee. Uh, Went over for a corner kick. Comes over, has a word with Rocky. See him again inside the, the run from Lichsteiner. Uh, done rather easy there, Rocky. Maybe the slightest of contact, but uh, Juventus just coming over, indicating that uh, that, that uh, Maso Rocky went down too easily. There it is a corner kick for Lazio. And of course, Roma has so many problems once they get the ball wide. It's down on Kolarov. near post, reset, it's a good challenge, I'm going to say a good challenge, and he felt he'd won the ball cleanly, and instead he ends up with the yellow card, he kicked to Lazio, one of those challenges had to dive in, he won the ball, but uh, he just took the man at the same time, and the foot raised slightly, Those sort of challenges where uh, there's maybe in other countries a 50 50 can get away with it, in Italy it usually goes against you. So the Mari felt the, the full uh, force of that challenge, but this is a dangerous position. With Desmo over it, pull it off as well. I don't fancy his chances from here, even though it's on the left hand side, he is naturally left footed. But uh, Desmo, I fancy curling one in as well. So options for uh, Lazio here, enjoying a good spell. And then going the goal ahead. And 30 metres out. It's Ledesma, throws it right over the crossbar. One to forget there from uh, Christian Ledesma. Uh, I'll be uh, happily pleased with his team's performance so far. He's certainly won the physical battle and the ball's been played forward. And uh, James up midfield if he lets it go. Cassetti. One. First time ball forward. Tony down to Totti. Totti crowded out again. Just hasn't got into the game at all, Francesco Totti. Again, that raking left foot right into the corner flag, forcing Roma onto the back foot. This time, Juan just does enough. Keep Flockery at bay, but uh, it's forcing the Roma defender. 
It's forcing the Roma defenders to turn towards their own goal. And even when they do get possession back, as we see here, it's a throw in deep inside their own half. And they can't get across this halfway line. Lazio are really dominating this game tactically as well as physically at the moment. As the occasion got to Roma. Pizarro. Now to come forward. Over the top for Issa. Great ball as well. Issa can he get the ball into the middle, but at least wins a corner kick. That uh, raises the, uh, the volume level at the, the Roma end of the stadium. And the first corner of the evening. Be Pizarro to take this uh, corner into the near post. Totti trying to knock it on, but uh, able to do so now. Rossi and into trouble, but uh, keeps possession well. Pizarro, it's Brocchi to uh, De Rossi playing the one to Pizarro. Pizarro plays the ball into the middle, across the face of the goal, and uh, Vucinic battling away with Lichsteiner. Start quickly. Pogorov. Cassetti into the back post. Flicked away by Biava. Good defending there by Biava. It was uh, two against one. De Rossi just drifting off there. And the final touch came off uh, Daniele De Rossi. Did and they throw into Lazio and Steiner across to take it. Rocky goes down on their challenge from Risa. Risa's play on. Challenge is really flying in. Biava. And he's come on, settled in very well. The substitute after Stendardo had to go off early on in the game with a suspected broken nose. And, uh, receiving a, a kick from uh, Luca Toni. Rocky there with a hefty challenge on uh, Pizarro. And left Pizarro sprawled on the turf. And the second yellow card of the evening. So he's got there as quick as a could, ref. Pizarro back on his feet immediately. One. Double seat. Pizarro. And the chip forward. Once again. Lots of defenders there. So Diaz. Rocky doing very well. Skipping away from uh, De Rossi. To the half hour mark, 1 0 to Lazio. Go from that man in the picture, Tommaso Rocchi, certainly Lazio. And for the game plan for getting the ball wide, keeping it moving, has really unsettled Roma. Roma able to uh, get their passing game going. So nothing really of uh, Francesco Totti, and he is here. But, uh, just heads the ball down to no one, really. And Pizarro comes away, and uh, he's prodding the ball forward. And Rossi loses out. Flockery. Stefan Amari. Pull it off. It's inside Cassetti and uh, draws a foul. Excellent play by Kolarov. Really impressed by him this evening. Cassetti expecting Kolarov to go on the outside, but the uh, youngster. And back in on his weaker right foot but drawing the foul the free kick to Lazio so at the moment that uh, Roma have left their legs so to speak in the dressing room and they're heavy laden and they're passing and their movement and Lazio are playing with the freedom and uh, much more relaxed side and uh, deserve to be ahead off this time with the uh, the delivery too much height and power on it and to start 
start again. Some sort of foothold in this game. Diaz up very well. Ball does drop down to Lucinic. Totti in distance. Perotta. Totti over the top. Behind Lucinic. Ball won't come down for him. Biava with the clearance and then it's Steiner helps it on. He's a little dummy there. Totti. The ball up wide. Pizarro forced into a little space there that uh, could only win the throw in from, but did very well actually. Yes, again, over this long throw. It's very telegraphed if he does go for the long throw. And it is just it in. They're jumping for the ball whenever they can. And uh, Lazio, again, the Lazio defenders are strong enough to clear the ball away. There are three players around Luca Toni. And he is again battling away. This time he knocks the ball down to Totti. And Perotta finally gets the ball on the ground. Pizarro, good ball out wide for Vucinic. Hurdles, Leach Steiner is offside a bit of a late flag there and, uh, the assistant there looked very cool and relaxed about his decision so again it was uh, that angle Diaz was playing at Ruchnich on side. Uh, touch and go, really. Risa. It's just an aimless ball, really, from Risa. And it off. Mari back to Ledesma. He's not holding on to the ball too long. Now, Totti with a bit of space. First time we've seen Totti coming forward. There's a good ball out to Vucinic. Chance to run at Biava. Comes inside. He's taking the pace out of the attack. Pizarro. Can't really get the shot away. And in the end, uh, really wasted the ball there. Pizarro is driven through the gap. We'll see Totti have made his forward run. Totti is expecting the ball in. Had to come back from an offside position. And there's no way he was going to get that. He was uh, facing away from goal. Just the pace went out of the attack there for Roma. Mari. Follow off again. Comes inside. Not uh, away from Cassetti, but De Rossi had the experience. Play the ball for Brock. He did very well. He's hooking the ball away from uh, Francesco Totti. Stefano Mauro again, he's dropping deep. Diaz, Desma. Juan is forward. It's followed by Rock. Does well, gets away, plays the ball, Vucinic over the top, Perotta making the run in behind, hooked away by Mari, defending there by Stefano Mari, but for once Totti finding some space, the Rossi just hooking the ball high, a battle between uh, Cassetti and Kolarov, Kolarov using his strength, Medesma helps the ball on, it's caught late there by De Rossi, and there's a very late challenge there from uh, Daniele De Rossi got away with an earlier one seconds beforehand and uh, so tearing Flockery in half almost there in shock really 
Ledesma was knocked off the ball and uh, De Rossi followed through. There was the first time Totti's got away, come back five yards or so, create a bit of space for himself, then can turn, face uh, uh, the penalty area and uh, try to play Vucinic through. De Rossi is good. It's the goal again. Wonderful ball put on the top and Rocky from that position. Uh, took the ball very neatly and uh, there's Lera there. The celebrations. Good day. So he knows he got caught out of position uh, with Cassetti. And the Desma comes off as well. He was caught late earlier by uh, De Rossi and uh, off the ball. And then De Rossi went straight through on the Flockery. But uh, having said that, uh, that's what Roma need, a little bit of passion. And if we're going to take, a, take a, a yellow card for the team, take a hit for the team, as they say. We're going to do it. Got to take a... Uh, build up the, uh, the passion stakes and derbies. Can't be too friendly. Fortunately, that's what Roma have been so far. Let's see if they enjoyed the, the better the play. That heaviness out of their legs. Lots are doing well. Sal going over. Mari committing the foul. Now it's getting more like a derby game. It's taken a while. Okay, Perotta, the challenge on Brocchi. Those players down. I felt it on the ball cleanly. Just clipping it. The heel there of uh, Pizarro. Still five minutes of the first half remaining. And the Lazio. It's a kick for Roma. And every so far hasn't been great from Pizarro. Once again, easily headed away. It was uh, Flock will be back helping out. Pizarro again. It's time a deeper ball. To the man just headed back across the face of goal. Bordiso hoops it. Straight in the hands of Muslera. Uh, and now by Diaz on Totti. Diaz, he's been around for a while, 30 year old, Brazilian, but uh, defends like an Argentine. Nonsense defender, and he's on there. Totti, uh, Tony battling away once again. Good defending by Diaz, throwing his body in the way. And then Bordiso there, just getting in each other's way. Tony Sergio with the clearance to the halfway line. Pushing the back there by De Rossi from Flockery. making the run he's inside the block with time go that wide to uh, pull it off and take on Cassetti on the outside and Cassetti does well and uh, then goes Lazio's way a run inside the six yard area the Rossi with the header away Follow off on his right foot weaker foot there and uh, able to uh, pick out Biava Twenty-four. 
something to think about at half time. He's close to up the, the work rate. And uh, Matcha, Lazio, stride for stride. And try to work the ball in and around, in and around the area for Totti and uh, Vucinic. Neither have got into the game, they've been well marked so far. But part of that is also because the midfield, the Lazio midfield, goes down to Rossi and Pizarro. Well, just, uh, again, looking for the head of Luca Toni, it's the same tactic every time in this first half. And uh, he's been bundled off the ball by uh, Diaz and uh, Biava. it really in this first half at all Vucinic has the ball to Totti to close down and a challenge by Brocchi the ball by Brocchi over the top Flockery now in his shooting position and it was worth the effort there from Flockery did the right thing went for goal so just couldn't keep the shot down as Juan closed in Defending there by Brocchi. Chelsea's going to have to battle for possession every time. He enough derbies. He's won the most derbies, 10, and he's also lost the most it's because he's playing the most, of course. There's now Rocky offside. Again, just on the shoulder of Bordiso. Bordiso is having a torrid time. Ranieri change it and bring on an excess. He's a classy defender. Menez. Is that the game for Menez? It's a game for Vucinic. He's got into the game. Menez get into the game. He's the coach to decide. Is out. That was away, but he can't get the ball down. Mitch Steiner. Really, this Roman tactics is playing into the hands of Lazio. But, uh, out of time. He's put over the top, and Luca Toni is uh, goes down inside the area. Piava getting back, using his strength there to knock the uh, Toni off the ball. There from uh, Vucinic. Oh, excuse me, Perotta. Perotta comes off worse. There's Luca Tony battling away with uh, the other button. There's no, uh, no contact really from Biava. There's a foul by Perotta. Three minutes to be added in the, the first half. Okay. His arm was offside. First decision. Zara. Perotta. Real outlet. And Pizarro just chips the ball forward. Petroni's in an offside position. Excellent defending. Well, that's a back three, which has been reinforced to a back five. Lazio. And uh, Stefan Morris had a good game. He hasn't had a, seen him on the ball a lot, but he's uh, dropped in there that position and like Polo off to go, get ahead of him at times and he's trying to play the one two with Rocky and uh, overhead by Rocky he won't go forward the Tony is battling away and uh, it is Totti that's booped and he's spotting the uh, Toward there, let's just have a look again. Come toward there, let's just have a look again. Not to say really, there's a little turning round into. Now the 
there was a flailing arm there from Totti. Minimal contract, contact, but uh, games like this, if the arms raised, the referee said the arm was raised, it's a yellow card offence. So, uh, frustration upon frustration for Francesco Totti. Not to be the man at the moment. But so far, he's been uh, overshadowed by uh, not so defence and uh, by Tommaso Rocky. The only goal of the game. It's a terrible ball by Bogiso. He's had a wretched first half. Cannot buy back into Ledesma. To pull her off, fight it to come forward, but uh, it's, uh, the cross is uh, taken down nicely by Lisa. It's a reverse pass from Lisa. He's going to look up. Top team. Beaten by Diaz, and the, the first half ends with Lazio holding the advantage and uh, worthy leaders at the moment. The goal coming from Tommaso Rocchi, and uh, Francesco Totti hasn't got into the game. Luca Toni there and Vucinic. Both players have been in fine form of late, and uh, they would have felt unlucky not to have been in the starting lineup. And, uh, they will get to 45 minutes and uh, those fans behind uh, the Roma goal they will be uh, looking for a much improved performance from their players in this second half uh, both sets of fans raising their voices this is uh, really down the business end of the season and uh, it'll be rare just uh, seeing that uh, Menez and today come on he's just had a quick word with Brocky just to change the tactics, just to get the wide men just wa watching those runs. Menez will pop up all over the pitch. We know what he's like. He just takes a you know, one minute, he'll take a, two or three players on. Next minute, he'll fall over the ball. You just don't know what to expect to throw him. Today, very neat, tidy on the ball. Gets into forward positions. And so it's all change. It's Totti. And uh, Menez on. And it's uh, Daniele De Rossi, the two Roman born men are off that is a big statement from uh, Claudio Ranieri as the second half gets underway with Lazio playing from uh, left uh, right to left and they might strip found there by Rocky the goal scorer and that's on the first run over rather too easily. So today we'll pick up our position on the right hand side of that midfield and uh, Simone Perotta will uh, be at the base of the midfield three alongside Pizarro. It's off coming forward with an excellent run inside the area and it's a penalty right in the first less than the first minute the second half and Cassetti has been tricked yet again by the dancing feet of Kolarov and uh, couldn't resist sticking a foot out there Kolarov skipped past the Tade rather easily Cassetti tried to drag his foot away but you can see there and Kolarov had uh, outfoxed him again and all it needed was a minimal contact and he was over and where was that was that inside the area just inside yes it was Tagliavento and uh, there is a hush around the stadium it's as if all the oxygen has been sucked out of the uh, ground all at once and Cassetti's continuous complaints has been pushed away by Perotta and Flockery now to make it 2-0 for Lazio and he's missed it well it's been saved by Giulio Sergio is this going to change the tide of the match now Roma off the hook and uh, Mari in an offside position will lap lift Roman hearts. Their fans believe so. It wasn't the best of penalties, was it, from Sergio Flockery? Knows it as well. Throws his arms to the heavens. Didn't believe in himself. And uh, Julius Sergio just saved with the body. Have Roma been given a lifeline in the Champions Jet race in the Derby? 
There's a whole 45 minutes to play yet. But Kolarov, they just have to watch him. He is having the game of his life. If it's true that uh, Inter after him, he's uh, certainly raised his, his uh, transfer fee a lot this afternoon. It's an early evening here in Rome. Kick off at uh, 6.30. Vucinic, strong run. I needs to deliver. But, uh, able to do so. Risa. The uh, ball from Risa there. That's the part too much of uh, Pizarro. But uh, there's the penalty again, as you can see. Straight, almost on the middle, no par. Keeper just able to get his body there. Save with the knees. Julian Sergio. And, uh, shows up knees. And uh, the fans have found their voices again on both uh, ends of the stadium. Diesel so forward. Tony battling away with Diaz. This time uh, it's against Diaz. And, uh, he certainly had a you know, very strong, very brave, very quick as well. Always in front of Luca Tony. Gonna do that for the whole of the second half. Menez into Luca Tony. First pass. Hooked away by Mari. Rocky. Good control. Just holding the ball up. Rich Steiner on the chase with Juan. Collides with Juan and uh, Juan will be booked for that challenge. Again, great pace from Lichsteiner, as you said in the first half. Collar off on the left, Lichsteiner on the right. They ran Roma ragged. So, uh, Misa and Juan are booked. To Rossi and Totti in the first half. Well, that means very little as both the Romans are off and they'll uh, be players on the Roma side. This time, I'm to control the ball. Menez. Tadej. Cassetti. Fall from behind by Mori. Oh, Zaratek. Says the figure of last season. I see him later on. Zaro now. And the ball in. Tony, challenge and that uh, corner kick. And it's Kolarov coming back there on his weaker right foot. And the ball that quickly taken. Pizarro, seen a lot more of the ball, curls it into the back post. And well headed away again by Diaz. And there's Kolarov striding out. Cassetti makes a good challenge this time. Needed to be. As well, Cassetti. Today. Raju with the challenge, back by Cassetti, and Cassetti suddenly uh, stepped up a gear. Nosy, he's been uh, turned inside out a few times by Kolarov, but uh, how derbies are won, it's through a passion, who wants it more? And suddenly that uh, save from the penalty spot from Flockery by uh, Julio Sergio has lifted Roma. Zaro. Ordizo back across the face, the goal drops down today, comes inside, goes down, inside there, and referee puts the penalty spot! And uh, Kolarov can't believe it, the yellow card is out, there is mayhem, it's a penalty for Roma, there's congratulations, are they too early? We've seen a penalty already missed, but uh, diving into the challenge, and he was Kolarov, again today was smart, Come back inside just as Kolarov had been at the other end when he won the penalty kick. That's it. And uh, it's Radu who's walking away. It's Kolarov who made the challenge. He's got, yeah, he is. He's a young man. He's had a great game. But it's Vucinic now to get Roma back on level terms. Up steps Vucinic. Has he got the calmness to finish this penalty off? One missed already in this uh, second half. Steps up. And he scores! Mirko Vucinic 
Roma back on level terms is the tide turning in the Rome derby the Roma players come to congratulate the new talismanic figure in the team Mirko Vucinic he's the club's top scorer of course this season takes his total now to 12 could be one of the most important goals in his career we're back on level terms we have a Rome derby that no one will want to leave here until the referee brings it to a close and he took that penalty so well Muslera dived the right way but it was above him and I don't think any keeper in the world would have saved that that was right in the corner and uh, Roma back 1-1 one -one. Menez takes the ball away Menez man for Rocky now it's up to Lazio to settle again continue to play their game to get the ball forward out wide but uh, Roma have changed their tactics Lazio have to react to that now I really feel who wants this more as I said before this is what derbies are won and lost by passion grit and determination both sides have shown that now the second half is uh, set up wonderfully as the sun sets in the eternal city the challenges will fly in Menez goes on a run outside Mari today outside him tries to play the ball into Vucinic but uh, Radu comes out a lot movement ahead and it goes wide again with Steiner with a bit more space to come into Rocky across the face of the goal took a deflection off Juan that'll be a corner kick to Lazio Steiner races across to take it but didn't put the ball inside the uh, a quarter and spotted by referee's assistant he wasn't going to fall for that he's in a lot now in the, the game and they, uh, they put the, the ball outside the, the quarter there but uh, it needs to be inside that's the rule so let's just stick to it guys come on and Ledesma he can deliver the dead ball it's a good ball right inside the penalty area hacked away by Risa Brocky if he floated out to Ledesma can he deliver once again Reese is there with the clearance good pressure from Lazio and the victory from him is so important as well Juan with a header down in the midfield picked up by Luca Toni out wide Vucinic he'll be full of confidence after that goal into Luca Toni Tadej in the middle Luca Toni doesn't look up He's back into Risa. Risa can't take the ball in a stride. And uh, Lazio now break. This game really opening up. Schlitzsteiner again. He's got the pace against Juan into Rocky. Couldn't get the clean connection there. That was a great ball in by Schlitzsteiner. Tommaso Rocky missed kick. Zaro out wide to Risa. are going to have to bust a gut now if they want to win this they've got long raking runs from uh, Risa Cassetti Lichsteiner Kolorov they're going to just keep doing it and doing it Menez inside skips away from one challenge but today out wide finally finds today and, uh, forcing today onto the back foot and uh, loses out by Flockery Rodiso across that's where he's strong Rocky Flockery going wide and uh, final touch coming off Flockery and Rayan leaping there on this side his technical area he doesn't want to his players to start dropping off the pace of the game giving possession back to Roma cheaply Vucinic there and uh, with Radu Vucinic 
didn't like Radu grabbing him by the shirt, and Radu didn't like the reaction of Vucinic. And then a little kick as well. That's what a doggy's all about, isn't it? Throwing to Roma. Vucinic. Inez, Vucinic, Parotta. Good ball by Parotta. Rocky's a long way to go. Juan doesn't make a challenge because he's already in the yellow card. Rocky going all the way. Wonderful run by Rocky. He's inside the area. Parotta back with a wonderful tackle by Parotta. And it had to be as well. But what a great run. A captain's run there from Rocky. Willing to take on the Roma defence. Juan didn't want to make the challenge. He's already been booked. Bordiso pushed him wide. But he took on Bordiso. Went past Bordiso. Parotta. Back covering and then Rocky with a desperate challenge. And that sums up this second half so far. Full of commitment from both sides. Jimenez again. To Cassetti from distance. Comes into Mari. Today, the back post for Luca Tony and uh, just over the head of Tony there. And applauds the effort. Just in behind uh, Luca Tony. off outside him pull her off uh, not getting enough curl on that ball straight into the uh, the body of uh, Julio Sergio and his first ball time ball forward there was uh, put out nicely by Brock Brocky, but Brocky couldn't get back quickly enough and uh, there's uh, the two players will be disappointed with their performances and uh, De Rossi De Rossi still urging the uh, Romo on. Cesco Totti, a silent partner. Lucinic is inside. The ball in for Luca Toni. Pizarro. Today. Rene is trying to stab the ball through there for today's run. Able to. Uh, Get past Mari. Flockery. Put a space out on the uh, right hand side. Just over the R mark. 1 1. Everything to play for. Rich Steiner. Chipped up there, but over the head of Rocky. Parotta back covering. Today. Long ball forward. To Tony. Gas comes out to cover. To today, Menez inside the area goes down on the edge. There is just about to get the shot away, and uh, suddenly Lazio's defence, which first half is looking a bit more shaky, and uh, Menez on, willing to run at defenders, draw challenges, and a uh, free kick right on the edge of the area. Suddenly. Claudio Ranieri feels that uh, the tide will turn his team's way. It's a lot more relaxed. Onto the Corvo Sud. Lazio has four as to stand firm. Vucinic. This uh, goes Par from uh, John Ornarice. Can he curl that ball into the far corner? Muslera um, isn't covering that. It takes something special to feel to get round the wall. Arisa just trying to 
Blast the ball out of the way. Vucinet! Blasted through the wall! What a strike from Mirko Vucinet! Roma 2-1 ahead! He runs to the Corvo Sud and celebrates. What a strike! When we thought Risa would go for par, Mirko Vucinic suddenly does. And uh, Roma are now on the march here. And uh, the referee is going to take some time to get the players back on that pitch again. Mirko Vucinic with a stunning drive. And uh, turn the game around. We've just gone over the R mark. And suddenly it's Roma in the ascendancy. Will they be the kings of the capital tonight? Straight through the wall as Brocky got out of the way. Brocky moved out of the way. Completely out of the way. Created the massive gap for Vucinic just to strike the ball through. Nothing Muslera could do about that. And uh, two goals for Mirko Vucinic. And a first half to forget for AS Roma. And maybe a second half that they'll never forget. For Lazio, they've got to change things. Zarate about to come on. Had to happen. This is such an enthralling derby. And Zarate to come on. And he can change things like Menez. There's a shake of the head there from Lichsteiner, who's having an excellent game on the flank. Eddie Rea deciding not to. He will take Lichsteiner off, who was uh, occupying Risa. Is that a decision he may root? Zarate starts from deep. He'll carry the ball a long way. But, uh, Roma, they tighten up their defence. Good game, Lichstein. Maju on the line. Today. Tony. In a way, they asked when we step in there. Tony back again, those big rangy legs of his and body getting in the way. It's just becoming a little bit uh, ragged, as you'd expect. Can things settle down again? Zarate goes on the run, runs into uh, Pizarro. Menez skips inside, draws a foul. That's what Menez is there for. He'll do that all night. When he's on song, he just draws defenders into him. He'll take the free kick. Lich Steiner, he's not happy, is he? With Eddie Rea. There's a, the strike again. There's a thunderous effort. Uh, he played in. Luca Tony suddenly finding space. The answer comes out. Zarate, Brocky. Brocky's gone out to the right hand side. Here he is coming forward. Ball played in. Looking for a Rocky. Good challenge by Bordiso. Zarate not offside. He can take on Risa on the outside. He's got a little trick. Risa sticking close to him. Corner kick to Lazio. He looked to the little Argentine. The dancing feet. And take the corner as well. Right onto the penalty spot almost. Corotta with a clearance. Rocky back across the face of the goal. Headed away by Menez only as far as uh, Kolarov. He tries a dipping shot. Straight at Julio Sergio. again comes inside Pizarro this time moves the ball forward Wands there makes a challenge Pizarro back little back heel played by Pizarro Menez fouled just on the edge of his own area this time helping out the defence there's the hero of the moment the new king of Rome, Mirko Vucinic. Roma go on to win this game. Yeah, that's getting up well. 
well there. But Tony felt the touch had come off. Uh, Tony but, uh, and goes to Roma. Gentlemen will be a lot happier even if they're not on the pitch. Steiner nothing to reproach himself about it all and he worked hard down that flank but Zara Roman on the passing game is clicking in and Cinic gets away from Piava behind the defence Tony battling away the Tony down, good block in the end, had to be. So it gathers. Strapping away for the ball there, Luca Tony. Zarate. Play on, says a referee. Rocky Adieri, can he get the shot away? Wahan with a challenge, Burdiso, followed by Flockery. Roma holds strong. Burdiso there, the handball. He was confident that he was going to get the, uh, the free kick today. Turned away, which is something uh, he can't do. Only Gucinic inside the area and almost dropping to his foot to unleash a shot, but. Uh, Diaz across, just getting a, a challenge in there. A corner kick. Uh, full of confidence, as you'd expect. Those, those Roma fans. Roma have won this uh, fix 2006 when Lazio have been the, the home side. There's these two teams for the Olympic Stadium. So, it's a header. Well, Rodiso there with uh, Radu, but uh, it's got into the hands of uh, Angelera. 20 minutes remaining, 2-1 to uh, Roma. And from a goal behind, both goals from uh, Vucinic. Lazio also missing a penalty. Lockery seeing his uh, team effort, saved by Julio Sergio. Zarate again. And, uh, straight into Menez. Reset. His strength. It's on the ball. And he'll take the quick throw. Ledesma. Not seen as much Ledesma in this second half. Not changing their midfield options. Here he is again. Scoff shot in the end there from uh, Zarate. On his weaker left foot. Menez again on the run inside the area gets a shot away and just a flex wide and what a change he's made to this game coming off the bench goes on the outside willing to shoot with either foot and uh, it's again Luca Toni holding the ball up and uh, and Ranieri has to be applauded with his brave decisions, taking off Totti and De Rossi. Bringing on uh, Tade and Menez. Muslera, plenty of time to gather. Decides to kick long. Nice with the header down. Pizarro. Forward. Piava. Pizarro in there, and that's Pizarro's game. And in the ball. Julio Cruz now to come on, another striker. Has to go for Broke, Eddie Rea. Zarate. Flockery. First pass to Zarate. He's inside. Good ball out wide. Collar off in space. Can he unleash a shot? He does so. Cannons off uh, 
Flockery, oh, excuse me, Mari. And uh, wide of the goal. He's heading wide. And, uh, the space there. Pulled off. Opened up. The beast will certainly enjoyed himself more in this second half. He's battled harder, and that's his game. And then it's uh, Sergio Flockery who makes way for uh, Jones, who will cruise. And uh, the replay there, Flockery's probably miss. And uh, be a very disappointed man. Gotta go up there and take the penalties. Pizarro again wins the ball. Nez. Perotti. Totti. Menez on the run. This time he's challenged well. And Radu. Brocchi. Zarate on the next touchline comes inside against Pizarro. Long way around, trying a little reverse pass again. Force back. Ledesma over the top, no one making the run. It was out for a goal kick. Tenth final quarter of this uh, pulsating Rome derby. And fans in full voice, as you'd expect. But, uh, the derby match can turn in a second. by Luka Tony straight out. Zarate again. It's again Pizarro's in there, making the challenge. And got to socks off Pizarro. Madu. Inside for up, Rocky from deep. That's a pair pointing wide, get it to Zarate. Got to deliver. Hoist the ball in. Cassetti with the header away. Pull it off back across the face of the goal. The Desma from distance. And uh, didn't get a clean connection there. with this goal kick. Do let the ball go through. Tony stays down. Turns off with uh, follow off. Play continues. Zarate. Inside the area. Gets a shot away. And Tony Sergio gathers at the near post. Roma uh, players unhappy there that uh, Zarate played on when uh, Luca Toni was down, but uh, I don't think uh, there's going to be many uh, sporting moments in that sense. So much to play for. Lucinic wins the ball back. Menez just went far too much for there to dance with another very solid challenge there from the Brazilian. Zarate again comes inside. Uh, overruns the ball, Zarate. And, uh, it's always been a bit of a criticism. His crews were screaming for it to be hoisted into the area. Matsu, uh, they just can't let this game drift away from them now. Diaz again. Stops it. It's back with Mari. Four. Pizarro closing in. Ledesma. Five Zarate. Got to deliver. Get past the reset. Force back. Looks for Brocchi on the outside. Brocchi against Pizarro. Ledesma. Day back and a header away. That'll be a throw in for Lazio. Lazio just uh, starting to exert more pressure now. For the equaliser, Zarate goes on the outside, gets past Risa, chips the ball in, and Juan with a diving header there to put the ball behind. Because in behind him, lurking was 
Julio Cruz ready to head into the empty net. It's more like it from Zarate. Corner taken to the near post, headed away. Like Luka Tony. Vucinic, long way to go. Vucinic, support from Menez. Not the best of balls from Vucinic. Put up by Radu. Mari. Ball from Radu. Zarate. Let's get to the byline again. Does so. This time runs into uh, John Onarisa. Another corner. It's much better from Zarate. We've seen that. Players to make challenges on him. Touch may just come off. Zarate. A corner kick it is. Just, uh, just have a word with players. A bit of short pulling. Deso and Cruz, two Argentines, which are very well. Former inter teammates as well. Before head in. Pushed away. Pull it off. Brocchi. Wide. Pull up wide by Brocchi. Desma. Excellent ball pinned into the middle. One with a header away. But Tony goes down. Shot on the back there from Ledesma. Tony just getting his body in the way of Ledesma. Just tumbling to the ground. Ledesma unhappy with that decision. Coaches, they haven't sat down the whole game. on both benches in the last 10 minutes he's doing very well again just flicking the ball back to his goalkeeper to Ledesma pull her off Rocky has gone up to the left hand side and Cruz and Frockley through the middle are playing too wide then but the ball finds his way out to Zarate who is a danger man then goes on the outside against Risa gets the ball into the middle Rocky's in there just hooks the ball over the crossbar once again Zarate gets to the byline he's causing Risa all sorts of problems now Risa just did enough to put uh, so captain off. Once again to the byline. He just couldn't get his foot around the ball. Deso's pressure just did enough. A little bit of cramping. Done, I think it is. Rocky's won hard all evening. Nice feet to Mattel Brigi about to come on. Fresh pair of legs in the midfield. Maybe uh, Vucinic on the inside. to make way it is indeed Anka Vucinic two goal hero so far and uh, he'll be very happy with his uh, evening's work but, uh, uh, Menez will just play up in support of uh, Luca Toni as uh, Brighi drops into midfield that, uh, wonderful strike He's there didn't see it coming His teammates all the way through. Oh, time the end. <laughs> a little joke there with Totti and the Nexus and De Rossi. It's great to see. And the uh, Totti town wave to the fans. Chanting your name. Which he does.
from one ahead. Showing up the midfield. It's up. And up all wide again, Zaratek. He's got a kiss there. And he's... Ball's just hoisted up and uh, very easily gathers between that line and to uh, take the quick uh, clearance. Setti wins his battle with Cruz. Zaro. Desmond now with a foul. And, uh, just a little uh, challenges coming in. To Max Menez and Pizarro, they'll draw the fouls. It's up the minutes. Interest of Roma win tonight. They go back top with four games to go. As we said, Inter do have the better run in. Atalanta, Lazio, Kiev, and Siena, but both sides could be battling away to save their, uh, themselves from relegation. We'll have Sam, Parma, Calgary, and uh, Kiev. So this tight race is going to go right down to the wire. And there's a relegation battle. That's it. 37 points, still six above uh, Atalanta. If they want something from this game, not point and a share of local pride as well, which uh, means so much in this city. Today's uh, worked well coming on. Color off, they haven't seen him marauding forward so much. He did that. Uh, Early on in the first three minutes of the second half, where he won the penalty, but uh, since then, he's uh, held back by uh, today. He's Ledesma and uh, Luca Toni have a little uh, face off, which uh, the fourth official calms him. Yes. Uh, down by Cruz, but Diesel striding out. Pizarro, Menez, Menez, heard of the challenge, he needs to stay on his feet more, Menez, that was an opportunity there to break away, he's always looking for the, uh, the times, for the free kick a little bit too much, Radu, today, makes a block, oh, Menez, and he can run from here, he can run a long way if he wants, he can take players on, he's doing that, Rocky getting back, wins the ball off and Rocky, Holding them off well. It's good play by Christian Brocchi. Ledesma can't get past today. Today is booked. So, Brookings is trying to mount up for Roma. It's the fifth contest. Brookie there. Using strength. So, Menez really has to work on his game. Uh, for body strength, the whole player's off. Rotto. It's not a real captain's role in the second half. Calva wins the ball. And the Desma, bit of space on line. Diaz, they've got to push four players forward, Lazio. Zarate. It's Brighi, he's inside. There's a bit of space, Ledesma chips the ball up. Juan gets in there, drops down, shot coming in. And there's a, a little battler, Pizarro, with, uh, against Ledesma. And if you're going to pick one of the match along with Vucinic, with the two goals, we've got to say. And David uh, Pizarro, the second half, he has won the ball, he's kept the tempo high. He's only a uh, one uh, 68 meters, but he's a little uh, bull of a man. Great feet. Challenge is coming in now. It's uh, in that stage. Foot's left in. 
the frustration, the tiredness as well. The Asta and the Tony ran into the last minute. This is where Roma want to be. Ranieri. Frustrating the team. He's four pitch short. He wants uh, Jimenez to go to the corner flag. Jimenez happily do. And Tony turns inside the area, battling away, but uh, the Desma back. The Desma, or excuse me, far back with Tony. I'm just watching a little bit of incident off the ball there. Menez booting the ball away there. And uh, Lazio players unhappy with that. And there's a uh, bit of pushing and shoving. And uh, really, that just play, plays into the hands of uh, the Roma players. Diaz can walk all the way up the pitch if he wants. Menez is uh, being told to get away from the scene. Parota, that's great captain's work there from Parota. And I think there's going to be a few yellow cards handed out here. And I think Menez for kicking the ball away. I don't know that was flashed towards that the, the Desma. And the Desma is still talking with the referee. I think he's going to talk himself into a, yeah, a red card here, Christian Ledesma. He just talked and talked and talked. And uh, in the end, Talia Vento said, You've got to walk the walk. And that means to the dressing room early. Uh, as many a Roman derby usually it ends like this with some sort of uh, incident and we're into added time uh, now everyone's off the bench this is what it means to a city this is what it means to two sets of supporters this is what it means to two teams and this season this is what it means to Serie A because Roma will go back top that's it and still have the spectre of relegation hanging over them heading into the last four games of the season unless they can find something in these dying moments there's just a, a red card for Ledesma he was getting wound up for so long Ledesma and, uh, really just let himself down in the end there red card as well for Menez no that's a mistake scrub that one Rocky with a shot Blocked by Berdiso. Five minutes to be added. Who's there with the slice clearance? Okay, just to bring a little bit of calmness to this. We've got five more minutes. Lots of got ten players. And uh, the Desma sent off. Roma have 11. Menez is still on the pitch. And everything to play for in this Rome derby. On, out of the way by Cassetti. Today he'll just knock this ball long. Chase is on, and is well won. Foul by Brighi. Free kick to Lazio. He's got to throw everyone forward, really. Rocky's the last man. Into the area. Ball bounces around, and uh, yeah, and, uh, Yava there with a push. And more discussions. I know the frustrations, the tensions. The Lazio players, but the clock is just going to tick on. There's Mari there, a little push there on today. Right in front of the referee. And there, as little he can do now, he's played all his cards. And now Totti getting involved off the bench. He's been a subdued character all evening. And he's lending his vocal support. Tony gets the ball down his back with the Muslera. Still, still two minutes plus a little bit more out of time to go. Cruz gets the ball down. Wins a free kick. This is going to be perfect delivery from Brocky. Enough tall players in there, Cruz behind that. Gonna send uh, Diaz up as well. Collar off. Brocky's got to just chip this ball into the penalty area and see what comes out. That goes Luca Toni. Corner kick. This could be it. This is where the season 
will come down to on a knife edge for both sides. Brocky across. Can he deliver a perfect corner? It's hanging high in the air. Reese is there with a flicked header away. Only as far as Mari. Mari looks for support. It's all the way back. Radu forward. Juan with a header down. Today, long ball forward. Too far ahead. Menez. Menez now can get to the ball and his body checked. No play on, says the referee. Long ball forward. Bodisa with a header down. Today, high. Luca Tony. It's tangling. Referee walks over, takes his time, says that's a free kick for Roma. And that might be it. Roma look to keep this ball, knock it wide. Menez needs to stay out of trouble. Needs to drift wide. Pizarro quick thinking. Knocks the ball to Tade. Tade will go to the corner flag. Everyone pointing. Oh. Rhodes point to the corner flag. Tade goes there. Comes inside, it's caught from behind by Zarate. We've gone over the 95. Muslera now, the last throw of the dice. The referee turns away, blows the final whistle. And Roma have won the Rome Derby. Coming from a goal down, they're back top of the league. They are the kings of the capital. That man, Claudio Ranieri, they will make him a saint. After this, if Roma go on to win the league, of course the Rome derbies will end in chaos. That's what they're there for. Tensions will boil over, but what a spectacle. And we'll leave that, that's what the players will get like at the end. Let's remember what happened on the pitch. A wonderful match where Lazio took the lead, a great strike from Rocky. Then they had a chance to go 2-0 ahead. Flockery missed the penalty. Vucinic stepped up and scored the penalty 1-1. Then Vucinic with a stunning free kick sealed the victory. I'm going to leave you the images of Rome, a Rome derby. And what a night. That's all for me, Richard Whittle, here at the Olympic Stadium. The final score, Lazio 1, Roma 2.